Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. If you didn't know, I'm actually building a monster Linux PC with the help of my brother who has graciously chosen all these parts for me. And the most importantly, he's gotten me these parts at really, really great deals. Now, if you've not seen my original video, be sure to check it out in the description below. I've also created a Linux PC build playlist so then you can watch all the videos as I get the parts. And then finally, I'm actually chronicling my whole journey on my website. I will leave that in the link below as well. And then on that particular blog, you'll actually see the list of all these parts that I have for the PC. Now, um, where I'm at right now, I've actually already gotten the case, which is an in-win mid-tire case. I've gotten the EVGA, or I like to say EVGA, the 550-watt gold power supply. And I also got this recently, this amazing uh, Radeon RX 470 GPU, 4 gigs. And then today got something else and it's actually may contain something awesome so I'm not entirely sure what's in here uh, my brother just tells me hey something's coming in the mail and so I'm not 100% sure what's in here but that's what we're gonna find out today so let's go ahead and get this open okay let's see what we got in here we're gonna take my trusty fancy box opener gonna see what's inside this awesome box So funny, like sometimes when you're unboxing, when you do a lot of it, the sounds of the box is actually pretty cool. I mean, I actually like hearing the sound of the box opening, which is kind of weird. So let's see what we got here. Uh-oh, that looks pretty cool. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. So what we have here, as you could probably tell, is actually a motherboard. And it's actually meant for Intel chips. So more than likely, I'm going to get a really, really powerful Intel CPU. And it is made by MSI. This is a gaming series. So it's definitely, definitely going to give me some flexibility in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this. Wow, it matches my uh, GPU, which is really nice uh, for all of those who love to have their designs look the same. Wow, that's great. Uh, I'm not going to go through all these specs. I'm like a kid. I just want to go ahead and open this. So let's see what we got in here. Man, so, whoa. You know, I've never really, really been big into Christmas, but here recently with building this PC, it might become my favorite holiday, uh, especially when it's not Christmas. So, okay, so let's go ahead and take this out. Check that out. That is one beastly board. Wow. Oh, man, I love this design. That that is going to be awesome. And the reason why my brother got this one, um, I'm assuming now, and he's has basically got me parts that are way beyond what I need. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I, no, I am not a gamer. You know, I, I'm going to use this for my work. This is going to be a workstation. But with all these specs, I'm going to be able to do so much with this, you know, so... As you can see, um, there's where I'm going to put my future CPU. And this is a gamer's board, so it's obviously meant to, you know, for you to expand this in the future as well. Um, it's got four DIMM slots. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to add more than 16 gigs in here, which is really nice. Um, at the same time, I think there is also some... So yes, yeah, some uh, elements here for the CPU as well. And look at that, plenty of uh, ports in the back and you know, slots for my GPU. Oh, wow. And uh, wow, I, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm really, really excited. Um, seems like every time I get a part, you know, I just am more blown away by this. So let me see. It also has something called, uh, I think it says DDR4 Boost. 
Um, I'm not sure what that means, but more than likely, it's going to allow me to run really, really fast RAM as well. Now, look at that design. That is just a beautiful, beautiful motherboard. And um, I love this MSI. And, you know, I got now that I got the matching MSI GPU to go with this, same color scheme. This is going to be one beastly, beastly computer. So we got USB 3.1 there. Wow. Thank you, bro. This is going to be so awesome. And I just love the name Tomahawk. Just the name alone is going to be really cool. Now, let me see if there was anything else in here that I missed in the box. Okay, sure enough, below there was actually some other things here. So we just remove that. Wow, definitely more stuff there. So the first thing is we actually have the drivers here um, for the actual motherboard. Got the LAN, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, it's got a Thunderbolt port too. Great. Let me see what else we got in here. Thank you, MSI, again. Thank you, bro, for getting this. Looks like this is going to be the labels for everything. Got a nice insulation guide. Uh, I'm going to need this because, like I said, I have not built a PC in a while. So it shows you how to put everything together. A pretty uh, beefy user guide for this Tomahawk motherboard. Great. Definitely got to put this in here uh, on your actual case before you put your motherboard on here. What else? Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Not sure what this is. Maybe uh, for the sound card, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll find out. And uh, this is if you want to add like wireless straight into your uh, computer. I'm probably not going to need this. Um, I'm gonna, it's going to plug straight into the wall. But obviously I'm going to keep all of it. And more plugs. It's going to go straight from the motherboard to your other devices. And yeah, that is probably for the Wi-Fi as well. So solid solid stuff there is a lot of stuff going on here and like i said this is more powerful than i'll ever need for a uh, computer it's going to last me for a long time you know i say that now and a few years later uh, this would be obsolete okay after today's unboxing let's see where we're at first and foremost was from today got this msi tomahawk gaming motherboard to go along with the msi Radeon RX 470 GPU and also down here we got our EVGA or EVGA modular power supply and all of this is going to go in this in-win mid-tower case. So what's missing? Well what's missing first and foremost is the CPU. My brother is working hard to try to find the best CPU for the money that is going to power all of this and then also he's also looking for memory as well. I'm not sure how much memory and even like the speed of the memory, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be beastly. And finally, we're talking about storage, SSD and also an external mechanical drive. The mechanical drive is probably going to be one terabyte. Now, in terms of the internal, I'm thinking it's going to be 250 gigs for the SSD. Now, in terms of other things I'm going to get, I'm going to get an optical drive as well, a Blu-ray, DVD, CD, because I still use optical media. Now the final thing that I thought that I wasn't sure if I was going to get or not is this monitor. I thought I could use this old AOC monitor but it has doesn't even have like an HDMI output so I really really want to do this powerful hardware justice so I'm going to get me a different monitor as well. So that's it for today's unboxing and don't forget you know you can follow this whole journey of this Monster Linux PC build on my website which is in the description below. And you know, if you did really like these videos and you got value out of them, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget I am on Snapchat at Geek Outdoors. See you in another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.